my name is Chris Vegeta. I'm the Development and Events Coordinator with Covenant Foundation. We're here today from Medicine Hat, and if you've ever been to Medicine Hat, not only is it a phenomenal city, but they have a beautiful structure. It's a Samus TV, and we're doing this kind of in the shadow of the Samus TV. Before we start, I'd like to do a land acknowledgement. We'd like to acknowledge that we gather today on Treaty 7 and Treaty 4 territory, as well as Region 3 of the Métis Nation of Alberta within the Métis homeland. This is the traditional land and gathering place of diverse Indigenous peoples, including Siksika, Kainai, Pekani, Stony Nakoda, Tsutsina, Métis, as well as Cree, Sioux, and Sotu of the Ojibwa people. Uh, we honor and respect the people whose histories, languages, and cultures have been here for thousands of years and continue to enrich our beautiful city. We're grateful for the traditional knowledge keeper and elders who are still with us today and who have gone before us. We make this acknowledgement as an act of reconciliation and gratitude for those whose territory we reside on and are currently visiting. So I'm joined today as well by Ryan Wiest, who is a site manager for uh, St. Joseph's Home here in Medicine Hat. And uh, we're announcing the winners for the High Tea 50-50 raffle that just wrapped up here in Medicine Hat. I also want to thank and acknowledge all the team from 94.5 Chat FM for supporting the raffle. They're a great bunch to work with and thank you very much for, for doing that. The proceeds will help support Covenant Health St. Joe's Home and Carmel Hospice. And finally, I'd like to introduce Ryan Wiest, who is the site administrator for St. Joe's Home. Thank you, Chris, and thank you everyone for your generous support. Uh, Covenant Health has been, um, St. Joseph Home has been supporting the community here in Medicine Hat for 71 years. Uh, we have uh, at our site currently, we have uh, 36 independent and supported living lodge suites and we have our 10 Carmel hospice beds and our 10 special auxiliary beds. I uh, just, we provide innovative and uh, supportive care to, and to those that reside at our site. I just want to thank everyone again for your generous support. Uh, it helps us to continue to serve those we do in the community. So again, thank you and I'll pass it on to Chris to make the draw. Thank you very much, Ryan. Uh, so we're very excited to um, announce our first prize winner, um, which is the Elkwater Golf Getaway for Two. Um, this, uh, this name was selected by a random number generator. Congratulations to Colleen Livingston with ticket number seven, or pardon me, six, seven, nine, three. Uh, you've won a one-night stay to the Elkwater Lodge and Resort, a nine-hole round with a cart at the Elkwater Park Golf Club, and dinner at Bugler's uh, Dining Room. So congratulations, Colleen. That's great. And now we're excited to announce the grand prize winner. I think we need a drum roll or something, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> So we sold a total of $9,890 in tickets, which means our winner will take home $4,945. That's exciting. And the winner is with ticket number 7279, George Cambites. Congratulations and thank you so much for your support, George. Congratulations. We'll be in contact with both of the winners shortly. Thank you very much for Ryan and Katrine for, for helping out with this and uh, congratulations and thank